I don't know if you've heard the news, but we are at a total of like right over a thousand dollar dollars raised so far. We yeah, have, I did. <laughs> yeah, we got Chubbis, Daggerin, and myself uh, flights covered already, and we have uh, leftover money to see what's up with pancakes and Cronoon. Uh, you know, guys, we're making really, really good progress, especially for this being the first marathon I've ever thrown together. So, Zach, so earlier we saw, you know, a couple hours ago that you, uh, you know, had been dipping your feet in Super Mario 64, and uh, now it seems like you're here to redeem all that and show show everyone what's up. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, more in my neighborhood of actually being good at a game, so... Word, man. Well, is there anything you want to say about the run, or like what got you into doing some of the Sonic games before we get into it? Um, basically, I just grew up on Sonic, and um, yeah, I, I think this is probably one of my favorite games of all time. So, uh, yeah, definitely, especially like Sonic Three and Knuckles, man. Like even being a kid, just being able to pick in between the three different characters was a huge. Huge step from Sonic 2, especially the movie. Oh, yeah. Because back in the day, no one, nobody wanted to play Tails, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, Tails still, you know, messes up your runs in today, so, yeah. <laughs> Word, man. Well, if you're ready, I am good to get uh, started on time, and, uh, yeah, dude, good luck to you. All right, thank you. Um, yeah, just count me down, and uh, we can start it off. <laughs> All right, so three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right, thank you. All right, guys, Sonic 3 Knuckles. All right, guys, Sonic 3 Knuckles. If you guys haven't seen this speedrun before, well, it's going to be pretty crazy. It's really, really, really glitchy. We only play a couple stages the way they're supposed to. Almost every stage in this game is... Um, there's going to be some sort of glitch that's gonna like just get us through the entire level most of the time um, so I'm gonna just take this top route up here get this fire shield uh, fire shield just helps you basically you just jump twice and he'll, he just flame dashes which gives you like a nice burst of speed pretty fast <clears throat> Plus there's actually a boss coming up, and he actually has like flames on his uh, machine, I guess. And fire like protects you from getting hit at all. So you're gonna see coming up like this right here. If I didn't have the fire shield, I'd be getting hit by like this bottom fire. So it just makes it nice and easy. Uh, we're gonna get bubble shield here. <clears throat> and uh, use it for the rest of the stage. Well, we're going to get a uh, lightning shield as well. <clears throat> but these first couple levels are just uh, self-explanatory. <clears throat> Nothing too crazy. So we're going to spin dash down off the ledge, go over here. Hopefully Tails doesn't mess anything up. Okay, good. Uh, with Bubble, you can just like <coughs> bounce pretty high. That's pretty much what it does. Also, like it's uh, you can't drown with Bubble, I believe. And then we're gonna bounce off that uh, Lightning Shield box so we get Lightning Shield now. Lightning Shield is basically an actual double jump, so it's pretty handy. Uh, and basically, this is just an auto scroller part. Nothing too Yo, what crazy up? here. Um, yeah, you just hold right. Uh, we did something actually a few seconds ago, so we can uh, skip this cutscene coming up. It has something to do with like certain like jumps or stuff you do in the level. I'm not entirely sure. So we're gonna stop right there. Spin dash at that tree. Which basically, after we kill this boss, uh, we can just skip the cutscene. We don't have to watch the Knuckles cutscene. <laughs> I 
And there you go. Uh, onto Hydrocity 1. Uh, so far, the game has been like pretty normal. There's nothing like too crazy. Uh, but coming up after this level, that's when like every stage just gets entirely broken. So this level is pretty self-explanatory. We just take the bottom route here. Uh, just progress through the level. Nothing too crazy. Uh, nice jump off that enemy. Gives us some nice height. Alright, so this is actually, believe it or not, like one of the hardest bosses in the game. It went pretty well, actually. Uh, you can technically hit him all six times on the top. Uh, but uh, I'll take... Getting a 57 is really good. If you can hit him all six times while he's still like off screen, you can get like a 53 or a 54, but it's still good. <laughs> all right, on to Hydrocity 2. So we actually have to kill ourselves. And then reload the level. And then what we're actually doing is putting ourselves in a nice position, like perfectly. So we can just go through that wall and just skip the entire stage. And we just make it straight to the end of the level by doing a, a nice jump in the wall. We're gonna line ourselves up like perfectly with like a couple pixels and we can just kill this boss like instantly as well. And there we go. So, going pretty well so far, um, we are about to go to Marble Garden, which is like another broken stage. So broken, you don't even have to play Act 2, you can just skip Act 2 and Act 1. So hopefully I can get this first try, but we'll see. There's a lot of precise things I have to do here. All right, so it looks pretty good. Looks like we got it. All right. So we're actually gonna backtrack through the level. I'm gonna try to concentrate here because this is kind of hard. All right, I barely got it. That's actually like the hardest part of the trick right there is to spin dash into this boss. If you don't spin dash fast enough, or if you jump, or if you spin dash too fast, you can like mess it, you can mess it up. Uh, but we did it perfectly. And yeah, we just beat the Act 2 boss in Act 1, I guess. <laughs> the game's pretty crazy. Alright, so... Pretty good time. 55 is... Pretty, pretty good. This is actually kind of a newer trick, thanks to Chrism. He found a nice, like, consistent setup for this, like, this entire trick. Which, like, we didn't even know there was a consistent setup. Um, this used to be, like, you'd get, like, a 130 or a 120, and now you can get sub-1 on the stage, which is really nice. Alright, so with this stage, we are using wheel glitch. So basically, we like touched a wheel, and we still have the physics of being on the wheel. <laughs> and yeah, we can just fly through the entire Act 1. So what we want to do here is... Uh, um, actually, not... Uh, we want to stay on the wall. We cannot jump or else we lose wheel glitch, and we need to keep wheel glitch for Act 2. Because it is very important that we keep wheel glitch. 
Uh, it'll help us... Uh... Oh my god, I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. Okay, it'll help us uh, beat Act 2 really fast as well. So by not jumping there, we still have Wheel Glitch activated. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, yeah, he can hop in. Have him hop in. If he's here. Thank you, Manix. So basically, we're going on the wall in a specific spot here, and um, spin dashing at the right time, we can just go above uh, the ceiling, and we're actually like bypassing like everything above the ceiling uh, by spin dashing again at like a nice spot. And then yeah, we just go straight to the boss. We can use our insta shield to pretty much just annihilate that boss. And another good stage. <clears throat> So the next stage coming up is one of my favorites. Um, pretty good music, pretty good glitches, all pretty good. Uh, I can't join him. I can't click off the screen, unfortunately, fat body. Can you just add him to a call or no? Well, that sucks. It's not too big of a deal. Okay. So. So we're gonna pause at a specific spot right there, hold right, do some more specific stuff here. Uh, make sure we are very careful with our inputs here and not mess this up. And we're gonna jump at the right time while we're going through the wall super fast. <laughs> Glitch ourselves through the ground so we're level wrapping. Uh, jump at three specific spots. Hold left, hold right. And then yeah, we're just gonna we're just going through the wall. We're navigating like to the end of the level. The end of act two actually, and we're gonna like navigate back so we can uh, get to the cutscene that would take us to the next level. So we're actually gonna go like all the way over here and we're in the cutscene for the next level and it just sends us straight here. <laughs> um, so this trick uh, is a two frame trick, but we also need Tails to cooperate and like not kill this bird. We need this bird to follow us all the way to an elevator in the level. So Tails needs to behave and not kill the bird by accident. Okay, Tails is being good. Alright, so we're gonna spin dash in the elevator, gonna look for some specific uh, pixels here. Alright, we got the second frame, which takes, if you get the second frame, you have to do one more input, but it's still pretty free. So, there we go. Uh, we're actually in Knuckles' boss. when we're not supposed to be here. Uh, we're gonna wait for the exact uh, one minute mark because the time bonus really matters here. Because basically, um, we don't wanna, the second boss we keep alive on purpose. We don't wanna kill him quite yet. We wanna wait till the timer goes to one second and like the stage loads. Uh, we kill the second boss and basically the game's like, wait, you killed another boss? You killed another boss? Oh, okay, well just, well you beat Act 2 then. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
pretty good. Alright, so we're actually going to reset the game here, because if we don't, then we'll just never progress. So actually resetting the game, like, we still beat Act 2, and it just sends us straight to uh, Mushroom Hill Zone. Alright, this trick we're going to have to get, like, crushed underneath a door, but, like, not die. Let's see if I can uh, get it here. So that's good. There's still one more part here. All right, nice. So basically, we got to do like more specific stuff in the wall there. It's just a you like hold right and jump in a specific spot, and then just spin dash, hold right, and then technically you should have like a 94% chance that uh, the level wrap works, so you can go to the end of the level. All right, so now. Since we just played like so many stages in a row with crazy glitches, we get to relax a little bit because this next stage does not have any glitches at all. So we can take a breather, at least for one stage. <laughs> um, this stage is pretty much uh, straightforward. We have the fire shield here. It's going to help us a little bit throughout the level. How long does it take to get here glitchless? I am not sure. Probably... Uh... I don't know, a longer time. <laughs> maybe like 20... 20 minutes? No, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, I'm not sure. Maybe like 15, 10. I've actually like never really done uh, glitchless. Don't jinx it now. Raikou trying to jinx my run, but no, yeah, this pace is pretty good. Nah, not you, fat body. Raikou's the one ruining it. Nice. <laughs> Raikou wants me to mess up. So we're gonna have to be, uh, uh, yeah, that did not work. Okay, so I can't believe I messed this trick up. I was trying to do some stupid thing. <laughs> okay, let's not mess it up twice in a row. So basically, you want to like spin dash and then pause perfectly. It's not a hard trick. We can just progress through the level. Having to reset there once doesn't lose a lot of time. I probably only lost like uh, 10 seconds or something. <clears throat> Not too bad. And this boss is just... Uh... You just stand there and he hits himself. So we're going to position ourselves nicely enough. So we still have slope glitch for Act 2. And um, this next trick coming up is like one of the hardest in the game. So I'm going to try to get it. Nice. Okay, we got it. 
And you know what? I went for the extra sw extra swag there. It's it's very risky to do, but I went for it. Basically, you can jump at a certain spot and um, zip even zip even faster, or you can stay on the ceiling. But uh, I decided to do the faster zip. If you do not jump in the right spot, you will like just not zip at all or zip in the wrong spot. So. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he nudges nine times. And then, uh, yeah, just jump on him, spin dash in him, kill him. Alright, so I want you guys to take a look at this boss really quick after I hit this. He bugs out <laughs> pretty crazily. <clears throat> so that was a pretty good stage. And on to Sandopolis 1. Alright, so we're going to use Tails to our advantage here, or Tails is going to screw us. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that was pretty lucky, but basically what we do is we go on a specific pixel on that little block. Uh, Tails pushes it so it goes off the edge, and we get s uh, sunk into the ground, and we build up incredible amounts of speed and then have to jump at a certain point uh, it worked pretty well uh, somehow yeah that's pretty hype getting flying battery 2 uh, first try and getting sando 1 first try is pretty crazy And I'm going to let you guys know how far ahead I am of my PB after this split. Because it's actually a pretty crazy run. Raikou, that's because you jinxed it. That's all your fault. Alright, just so everybody knows, we are one minute and 20 seconds ahead of my PB right now, which is pretty crazy. So as long as you know we just play perfect, we'll be good to go. <laughs> no, but if you guys don't know, there's um a lot more to go in this run, like a lot, lot more. Does my PB have Lava Reef 1? It does not. Not a fast one. Like, I can probably save 20 seconds on Lava Reef 1. Oh my god, I almost choked it away. That was scary. Alright, so pretty good. We actually like get a uh, loop clip there first try. Uh, and we like navigate our ways through some like weird sections in the walls. Uh, and we, sk we skip a bunch of things. <laughs> Dude, Fat Body, I love you, man. <laughs>
All right, so 154 is pretty good for this stage. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, we're probably gonna even gain some more time on our PB. Yeah, we were gaining another eight seconds. All right, so this is actually one of the newest tricks. Um, I found like some consistent methods. Okay, it's not a new trick, but we thought it was TAS only. But basically I looked into it and there's some uh, consistent strats for it. So we'll see if I can get it. It's still hard. That was close. I was really scared of that crusher coming. <laughs> Let's go there, dude. That's really awesome. Yo, oh my god. I'm popping oh, in right too now. Bad. We still have one of the hardest Y'all, everybody, in the game spam coming. the fuck out of this chat. This is one of the craziest marathon runs you will ever see in your life. A minute and 50 seconds ahead of our PB. Alright, so we're gonna wait for Tails here. We're gonna use Tails to our advantage. Alright, so... I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm kinda nervous. <laughs> This is pretty crazy. Yeah, man, it does. A big fat body breath. Yeah, I know. I probably look. I'll commentate. I gotta. Pra I mean, I gotta really concentrate for Death Egg too. But I can commentate still for now. So basically, we can slap Knuckles' his ass a couple times around. Uh, wait for for him to jump off. Spin dash. Uh, this is so. This cycle right here is in a nice spot. We jump. Okay, get this lightning shield. Be really careful we do not die here. We want to screen wrap. Make sure we lightning shield jump. Just like that. Uh, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> that was really weird. That's only going to lose a couple seconds, but that was weird. You're supposed to like... Uh, yeah, jump off that lightning jump. Alright, so not bad.
Alright, we're gonna reset because this cutscene is way too long. And here we go, guys. Death Egg 1, and then Death Egg 2, coming right up after. Death Egg 1 isn't uh, too crazy. Death Egg, 2, Death Egg 2, though, is very scary. Because there's a frame perfect trick, and if you don't get it, it's all over. I know, man. I gotta bring it home. Gotta do it. Um, Alright, I'll just do that. That's fine. Alright, Red Eye. So this boss is uh, quite annoying. Especially when that happens. We gotta be careful not to die here. Alright, we did it. We beat Red Eye. 200 dollar donation? Hell yeah, thank you for that 200 dollar donation, guys. Alright, so, we have to kill ourselves here to reload the level, and then I'm going to be quiet because I have to focus on this trick. Oh, buddy. It's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. <laughs> I want you guys to know that. The final boss can still troll you. But we're really close. Okay. Not, 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 not
not, 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 not. We did it! World record! We did it! Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Uh, the time is a 32.37. 32.37. GG. Thank you guys. I appreciate all of you. This is so amazing. <laughs> oh man. Very, very amazing. <laughs> dude. I gotta leave the call. I forgot. So I'll be right back, dude. Alright, hold on. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Argic. Thanks. Everybody, all right. I'll uh, I'll answer your call right now. Okay. Hey. What <laughs> the okay, hey. fuck? What? <laughs> Are you Hell fucking yeah. kidding me, bro? Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> World record in a fucking marathon, dude. We just passed fucking like twelve hundred dollars. Like, holy shit, y'all! This is the best marathon on the planet. <laughs> tell your friends. Tell your kids. Go wake up your girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, wake up your dog. Like, let let your neighbors know. Yell this from your balcony. Like, the thir low 32 is real. Dude, it really is. It really is. Um, I, that was an amazing That's run. Fun. I did lose, like, 15 seconds on Flying Battery 1. But you know what? Besides that, it's, it's really, really good. So... Dude, uh, I'm just going to let you sit here and bask in this in a minute. For a minute, dog. <laughs> like... Oh man, absolutely yeah, dude. demolished in front of all these people. Just you know, what I'm saying, putting it out there, dude. How do you feel, dude? Honestly, like, I think me explaining the tricks and just being relaxed really, really, really helped me. Um, like, I was just chilling. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't like trying too hard or, you know, trying to, uh, you know overdo anything i was just you know I, you know I've, I've run this game i have over 2500 attempts in this game like i've, I've run this game so many times so like it, it's kind of just um uh what is it? what is it called uh muscle memory so i didn't me commentating the muscle memory just took over and by the time i got further and further in the run it, it just it just it just happened so Really Phenomenal. awesome. Phenomenal. You guys, all of the love and support so far has been crazy. If y'all thought that was good, just keep your eyes open, man. We have some crazy runs still up to come. Up next, we have the homeboy Faust coming up with Shinobi 3, no kunai. So stick around, um, you know what I'm saying, and we will be right back. Thank you all very much. <laughs> 